Hi, I'm Georgie Howard from Brooks High School and today we're talking to Adam from the Launceston Fire Brigade. Let's go have a chat. Adam, what's your role here? Uh, Georgie, I'm a firefighter at the Launceston Fire Brigade. What does a typical day look like? Uh, in a typical day, we'll have checks and maintenance in the morning and then um, we'll have training and study for the shift throughout the day. And then in the afternoon, we might get an opportunity to do personal development and fitness. But uh, most days aren't a typical day. So uh, at any moment, we could be responding to um, fire alarms, car crashes, house and bushfires, or chemical spill or a rescue. So you can never turn up to work and say, um, yeah, this is, this is what my day is gonna look like. What's your favorite part of being a firefighter? Uh, it'd have to be helping people out when they most need it and uh, having an awesome team around me to do the job. It's great. What are some of the opportunities within being a firefighter that people may not realise? Uh, there's heaps of opportunities for motivated people within this job. Um, once I become fully qualified, I can go into specialist roles such as uh, rope rescue, first aid, uh, hazmat, uh, well, hazardous materials specialist uh, and urban search and rescue to name a few, uh, or I can go into leadership roles, uh, management roles, I can work with our volunteers, and uh, the volunteers actually make up the large majority of um, the Tasmanian Fire Service. There's also opportunities to go around Australia and work with other Australian brigades because these qualifications that we get here are nationally recognised. There's also opportunities to take those qualifications overseas with exchange programs. What education and experience do you have? Well, out of high school, I completed year 11 and 12 at Newstead College. Uh, then I went on eventually to get an apprenticeship as an electrician. I uh, worked as an electrician for seven years and during that time also, I was in the Army Reserve for four years. How did you become interested in becoming a firefighter in the first place? Uh, I knew I wasn't cut out for a normal job. Um, I had friends in uh, the Army who were emergency responders and I looked up to them and they loved the job so I came in here to the station and I had a chat with some of the people here and they convinced me it's the best job in the world and it is. Who is suited to something like this? Uh, someone who loves to operate as part of a team, uh, someone who wants to know the theory and practical side of their job like the back of their hand and someone who can calmly think their way through a high pressure situation. For someone wanting to get into the fire brigade what pathway should they look at? Uh, it's hard to say what pathways to take. Um, we have firefighters from all different walks of life. Um, but having said that, we do have a lot of ex-tradesmen and ex-military. But we have people with degrees, people from um, outdoor education and sports backgrounds. Really, uh, it's the diversity which makes up the team on the truck, which is really good. Uh, we're looking for people with a proven ability to operate in pressure team environments and an ability to work with their hands and their head. So you know, if you can prove these experiences and you've got a desire to help the community, then my su suggestion is to keep applying for the job, even if you don't get in first time. Thanks, Adam, today. It's been great to get an insight into being a firefighter. Hopefully this gives students an idea of what to expect.